I had to make one of my favorite lures for small pan fish and trout. What you need, this is a standard paper clip. I got them at the dollar store. This one had the plastic coating on it. I stripped it off. And this is an egg sinker. I painted it white. And then I just, I'm not good at videos and crap, so I'm not real good, so I can't pause it and stuff, so I waited for the paint to dry. Then take a black marker, Sharpie permanent. Just cover the thing in multiple of hundreds of little teeny tiny dots. Somewhat like that. And then take this and I'll put that on in a second. I'll take a screwdriver, just a small little screwdriver. Take my paper clip and I bend it over. Start to pull it up. And then, I'm just going to attach my hook now, because I don't find I really need it for places I fish. But like, if you're in stronger water, you might. But I'm just fishing this in the lake. You put, um, one of the split eye, split eye rings, or split O's, or cir split circles, I can't remember what the hell they call them. One of those not you wanted, but I don't. Like, I have, I've made some with and some without. I'm just going to do it without, because I don't want to take the time. Red treble hook, best one for these. Put it on your loop. Screwdriver back through it. Try not to stab yourself with the hook, like I've already done twice. And just twist it once. I'm gonna do this twice. Oh. Yeah, you gotta try not to hook yourself. That hurts a lot. Like I just got these hooks at uh, Canadian Tire. They came in a pack of 25. That whole pack is in. And I've used a lot of them. You gotta get some more soon though. I'm starting to run out. Okay. And then when you get to about here and you got that little tag end, take it and bend it. It's hard to do because the hooks there. If I Bend it down. I'm going to take a pair of wire cutters or whatever these are. Pretty sure they're wire cutters. Take and clip it. And then I just grab these instead of pliers for some stupid reason and bend it flat. Flatter, I guess. So I'll go to work on that. You can bend that. That tag ends up, bend that down. I just don't have crop pliers with me for some stupid reason. Then take your weight with all the dots on it, slide that on, bend this a little bit straighter, keep trying to keep everything in line. And if you did it, cut that flat, it wouldn't have such a big gap and it'd spin a little easier. It still spins somewhat. I was trying to make this quick here. And then I took this is a fall one, I haven't drank this drank this yet. And this bottom part here, it's thicker than the sides, and it's gonna have paint on it. Took a piece off an old one and cut a square out of it. And then just take scissors and basically cut out the leaf. This takes a while sometimes. That's why I cut the thing so big to begin with. That way you got wiggle room. Like stuff goes flying and 
Try not to hit your cameraman in the eye or anything. That's bad. Actually, um, I had a spoon. I take this and I basically take, and then find a spoon. Basically, take it in the spoon. Beat it in, so you got that nice bend in it. Smooth, and then put that over to the side in the bead. I'm gonna take a screw, and in the higher part of this, like not the top part, take it you know, right as center as you can get it. I'm just eyeballing this, I'm not measuring it. Flip it over, poke through again on the back. I got an old sandstone, I just use the side, so I just get rid of all any big lumps. And I just run this across like this a couple times just to get rid of any ragged edges or anything. Dull it up, just then, like if it does manage to bend, which it shouldn't, enough and break your line or start rubbing on your line. Shouldn't it though if you well, if you do the next couple steps right and then so take your bead. You got a pink bead off something I ripped apart probably. Normally what happens. That's not, not bad. If you want you probably trim that up a little bit more. It's probably a little bit big. I might do that actually. Yeah, don't, if you, in case you guys didn't hear that, I just hit my cameraman. Uh, like I said earlier, try not to do that. It does hurt, like this is pretty sharp still. I've run this part, these parts over this, over the stone. Back side of it. And, how's that look? I'm line this damn thing up. Uh, a little better. Not quite what I want though. This is the time part. You gotta play around with this a lot in order to get this to work. Basically a lot of trial and error. Just keep trying until you find something you like. That's not too bad. And you gotta get the point, like it's still a little bit big, it's like I'm gonna use it like this anyway. Not Maybe if I had a little more time, I'd trim up a little bit more, and then your bottom looks like that, and then it still spins nice, so we're okay there. And then I take screwdriver again, I'm going to come up about, I don't know about that much, probably about a uh, half inch maybe, a little bit more, a little less, give or take a bit, and bend it over again. I'm going to take the tag in and I'm going to wrap it. I'm going to keep the screwdriver in there. Wrap it so I don't lose that loop. Wrap it once. Wrap it twice. Wrap it three times. Line her up. Come back here I'm going to take wire cutters. Watch yourself, pick that up later. Give everything a good flick, make sure everything's spinning on it. And that's all she wrote.